Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dave and I'll be walking you through in this series of videos about how to um, play through a game that uh, I created along with a friend of mine named George, um, a game called Sammy's Quest, which is um, an adventure game uh, along the lines of the old Sierra games, uh, Sierra uh, online adventure games that used to be uh, popular back in the late 80s, early to mid 90s. Um, and we decided that we wanted to create, a friend of mine named George and I decided that we wanted to create a, a similar type of game um, using uh, a, an engine called Venture Game Studio, um, which was written by Chris Jones. Great, great program for, uh, for creating um, especially adventure games. Um, so we decided to use that to create Sammy's Quest. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is actually walking through the game, uh, how to get the game for those of you who are interested, and then walking through the game. Um, so, sort of as setting up, um, setting up the foundation for the next series of videos, which is really what I wanted to, to get online, which was how to use uh, Adventure Game Studio to create um, an adventure game, which I really haven't been able to find a, a tutorial, a video tutorial anyway, about using AGS uh, to create adventure games. So that's really what I wanted to do. But first of all, I wanted just to set up, you know, walking through Sammy's Quest, um, and just so people can get an understanding of what the game is before I go into exactly how to create it because I'm going to break it down um, and show all the code behind it and how to create uh, the game uh, and that kind of thing using the AGS, uh, AGS um, uh, engine. So first of all we'll go um, ignore this um, Google that's up here right now I just wanted to open up a web browser um, because I wanted to show first of all how to go get the game where the game is on the internet how to go get it first of all for those um, of you actually I guess you could use Google and just type in um, Sammy's quest which um, there's a walkthrough which uh, which is for Sammy's quest actually we didn't write the walkthrough George and I didn't this was written by um, Sophia blue um, who who create who created a walkthrough for the game um, but uh, the second link actually if you type in Sammy's quest with quotes the second link from from Google is actually the, the link where you can download it and this actually takes you to the AGS um, website AGS being Adventure Game Studio again written by Chris, Chris Jones and um, this is where you can actually download the game so so here we have Sammy's Quest if you scroll down a little bit um, you can download now either download now button or download from Mirror One I believe they both still work this is actually a game that we wrote back in uh, 2003 and here it is um, currently as I'm recording this uh, early September 2008 so you know, right at almost five years ago, uh, but these both of these links still still work. So um, if you just click on one, um, you'll have to have uh, WinRAR to un unzip it. I think both of them are actually WinRAR. Let me see if the other one is as well. Actually, no. The second one, if you click on Download from Mirror One, um, it's a zip file, so you can actually just use it using uh, regular Windows Zip. Uh, the first one requires WinRAR, so I'll just click on the second one, download it. Um, I'll save it to my computer. Um, we'll go ahead and save it in the in the, in the downloads directory. Uh, it doesn't take very long to download. It's just a three megs uh, file, so it doesn't take too long. Um, once you have it downloaded, um, you just click on open. Um, Windows will ask, "Are you sure you want to open this this zip file?" You can just say uh, allow. Um, and then the file contains these five files. Um, the config file, music.vox is just all the music that's in the game, um, the actual executable executable for the game, um, speech.vox is all of the, um, the WAV files, the speech that's in the game, which there isn't a whole lot, um, but there is some at the beginning, um, there's some that's George and I talking, and then at the end, actually, there's some as well. Um, and then the um, Win setup, which is, this is the setup program that you use to, um, to, uh, configure the parameters of the game. What resolution do you want it to run at? Do you want it to run in a window or do you want it to run full screen, uh, et cetera, like that. Um, so actually I'm just going to take all of these all of these, and you can just say extract all files, um, give it a directory you want to extract to. Um, let's say um, my documents folder under Sammy's Quest. Let me spell that correctly. Um, show extracted files when, uh, when complete. Go ahead and extract extracting the files for some reason Windows Vista 
seems to take forever when it's copying files and I'm, I'm not sure I figured that out yet but anyway here we go so I've got all five files here um, and so that's how you download the file uh, the game so um, let me real quick let me double click on the win setup program um, just to show you what the parameters are it's gonna say hey um, are you sure you want to run this it was downloaded from the internet um, I'll say yes these are the AGS game settings and they're actually actually is a, a, a win setup program just like this for every AGS game there's there's hundreds of them out there and, and many if not most of them are better than Sammy's Quest um, uh, but you know every single one of them will have a, a program like this um, that tells you uh, what resolution do you want to run at um, Sammy's Quest was actually designed at 320 by 200 so I'm gonna select that um, for the purposes of this series of videos I'm actually gonna run it in a window um, you can run it full screen it's just depending on how you want to run it in fact if you run 320 by 200 in a window it's really really small so I would recommend actually running it uh, full screen and just uncheck that box but um, I'm gonna run it in a window um, all the rest of the settings you can almost always leave uh, by def the default values so we'll just keep those default um, you have advanced options which I always want to look at the advanced options even if I don't change them um, run a replay there is no replay here so I'm gonna say don't run a replay and this is just the amount of cache memory that it uses for the um, for the sprites and things like that um, that's fine at five megabytes the, the whole game itself is only you know seven megs so um, you don't need to change that at all you can just leave that as it is so I'm gonna click save uh, I'm not gonna save and run right now I'm just gonna click save I'll start the game actually in the next video so um, so I just click save what that did is that actually saved all those settings um, well now Windows Vista is coming up and saying hey this game may not have saved correctly uh, I'm gonna say yes it it installed correctly even though I didn't install anything but um, so what it did is WinSetup actually modified this config file right here that with with the settings that I just specified and then that this executable then looks at this config file to determine how it, how it needs to run um, and, and again all this is built into the AGS uh, engine which will uh, talk about in the next series of videos which is the how to use AGS so um, that's all for this video I uh, just wanted to show where you can get the game how to how to extract it and then how to set it up for uh, for use in um, uh, so you can run it in Windows uh, oh one more thing too the, um, the actual game that I'm that I've downloaded here from the internet is not going to be the same game that I'm going to walk through the only difference is this game uh, because we created it years ago and um, I didn't think about it at the time until I started getting um, requests for it and I just never went back and updated the, the downloads link but this game actually Sammy the main character walks around really really slowly and it takes a long time to beat the game uh, because of that because half the time you're just waiting for Sammy to walk from one side of the screen to the other um, and the version that I'm gonna run and show you on the website I've actually changed it so Sammy walks a lot faster um, that's not an option in the downloaded version so if you're playing the game for uh, from from the download link you'll find that Sammy walks really really slowly and I just haven't like I say I, I could change that I just frankly I I haven't done it I haven't put the the changed version out there on, on the um, the download link so uh, that's really the only change oh the other change is, is that um, as he's walking in this version as he's walking across the screen you hear his footsteps click clop click clop click clop well, when I up up to the speed, all of a sudden the, the footsteps are a lot quicker, so it's every time you walk somewhere. And I decided that was a little annoying, so I took out the sound uh, of him walking. Uh, that's the only other change I made. Other than that, the game is exactly like you would play it on, on, online when you download it. So, uh, so anyway, that's um, almost at my 10-minute mark, so that's it. And see you in the next video when I actually start to play the game.